Hi guys, welcome to Cape Town. I've always been wanting to come here and see this place, but I never have the guts to request for this flight, as they always say it's one of those busy flights. So I guess it was my fate to be able to see and visit this place at least once in my life. I never planned to go out after the flight, as I was feeling tired after a 10 hour flight. But some of the first time crew were insisting that I should come with them. So I went, we decided to take a tour of the hotel, which would take us to the Table Mountains, which is also one of the famous tourist attractions in Cape Town. It was a very sunny day in Cape Town and there were lots and lots of tourists. Two Philippines and Kyrgyzstan. <laughs> it took us at least one hour in the queue before we were able to get to the cable car. Of course, we didn't want to miss our chance to see the view while waiting for our turn to come. The capacity of the cable car is about 50 persons and it will take us to the top in a 360 degrees view. The car rotates so that you can see the beauty of Cape Town. And we finally arrive at the first stop, the Table Mountain. Welcome to Cape Town! It was indeed breathtaking view from the top. We never wasted our time taking photos and videos of that place. It was like heaven and earth. Ah, oh, isn't it wonderful? about one hour or so to explore the place and after that we came down in a cable car again to meet our tour guide he's gonna take us to another place and of course we see a lot of beautiful places as he was driving stop by in few places so we can take photos and go. It took us another 45 minutes of driving before we finally see the penguin.
feels like we were in the happy seat in the movie. I really felt happy as I've never seen any one of them in person. I wanted to get close to them, but they never allowed us to do so. As they said, it's dangerous for them and for humans. Well, I guess it's for our eyes only. There are lots and lots of things to do in Cape Town, but because of the limited time, we just have to choose the closest attraction to the hotel. The good thing about Cape Town is that it's beautiful and cheap. Ah, if only we have a long layover, I could really visit all the nice places I could find on the internet. But I guess it's better to leave a few places every time. So I would still feel excited the next time I visit this place. I hope you guys enjoyed my short travel vlog for today and I'll see you again next time.